In this video, we'll discuss the environmental effects of mining metals. We all need metals in our daily lives, right? Whether it's a copper wire or a spoon or a car or gold ornaments, we need metals to make a lot of things. If I'd ask you to make a list of all the things around you that are made of metals, I'm sure you'd have a list that's at least a page long, right? So we do need metals, but where do all the metals come from? That takes us to mining. Mining is the process of extracting metals from the Earth's crust. Now, this entire process looks somewhat like this. Let me show you a video of a mine. This is a copper mine. It's a pretty large mine, right? If you carefully look at this, all these ridges here, these are actually roads where trucks can ply to take material inside and outside. I'd like you to pause for a moment and maybe count the number of levels that you can see in this image. Each level is a few tens of feet. So you can then roughly calculate the depth of this mine. And even this is just the surface of the mine. Often underneath the surface are large tunnels in which drilling equipment is placed, which drill further deeper into the Earth's crust to extract metals. So the scale of this entire mine is very large. And it's even larger than what you can see in this picture because there's a lot of activity under the surface of the earth. Okay, now that we have an idea of what a mine looks like, let's look at another example. This is literally a gold mine. Okay, and if you look carefully, this is even larger than the copper mine that we had just seen. Now, I'd like you to pause for a moment and ask yourself what it would have cost to construct such a large mine. Well, the construction of the mine would have costed a lot financially, but it, the cost is a little deeper. Such a mine would have caused destruction to habitat, right? Indigenous people who lived in this region would have had to move out to other places and they would have to they would have had to give up their land, right? What about the animals who lived in this region? They would have had to give up their natural habitat and move to some other portion of land, right? So what happens is the habitat of humans and animals is destroyed when a large mine is constructed. This mine would have also caused a lot of deforestation, right? A lot of trees would have been cut, and that in turn would have led to a lot of soil erosion. The top layer of fertile soil would have been dug up, thrown away, washed away, and we would lose nutrients from the soil. This would have also caused an ecological imbalance because a lot of animals have moved away, a lot of humans have moved away, trees have been cut. All of that adds to the ecological imbalance that would have we just saw how the construction of a mine caused a lot of damage to the environment. How about the operation of mines? Does that cause damage to the environment? Yes. The operation of mines requires a lot of high energy equipment. For example, these trucks are super, super huge. Right? Let me show you for scale. If we have two normal sized humans standing next to the truck, you can see that they don't even come to half the tires height. That's how large scale all the operations in a mine are. Because of these large machines, you have a lot of high energy usage and you even have a lot of air pollution happening. That air pollution leads to global warming. And you have water pollution as well. There's a lot of wastewater which is dumped into ponds and lakes, which causes groundwater contamination. So you can see how the operation of mines causes a lot of damage to the environment as well. Right? So we saw how the construction and operation of mines is damaging to the environment. Now let's also discuss another aspect which is very important when it comes to mines. That is mining accidents. It's very common for fires to develop in mines. Sometimes tunnels get blocked and people get trapped underground in mines. All of this causes a lot of lives to be lost in the mining industry. Thousands of deaths occur around the globe each year. And sometimes people don't even, uh, it doesn't even come to the spotlight because when a worker dies, sometimes the worker is replaced by another worker and things just move on. It doesn't even get to the news. So to transform the entire mining industry, people have started adopting responsible mining practices. And responsible mining practices starts with treating the employers well by focusing on their safety. For example, you can see in this picture here, these two gentlemen have hats which protect them a little bit. They have these glasses, they have a safety vest. They should also be equipped with boots which 
help them work in this mine without being affected by all the harmful chemicals and dust that is in the atmosphere. Sometimes they may need masks as well, depending on what kind of mine they're working in. The next thing about responsible mining is to ensure that fair labor practices are followed. It's very common in mines in developing countries to see bonded labor, child labor, and other such unfair policies being followed. It's often seen that workers are paid very small amounts, whereas large corporations take the bigger cut. And it's important to change that so that the local workers in that region can benefit from the mine. Another thing that mining companies have begun doing in line with responsible mining is responsible waste disposal. Governments have begun to ensure that mining companies don't waste, dump their waste anywhere and everywhere. And waste that exits the factory is treated before it leaves the factory. One bad example is the video at the back. That entire water body there, that's actually mining waste. And this particular mining waste is extremely acidic and harmful to the soil, the trees, the animals, and the people in the region. Governments have slowly begun placing guidelines so that such things do not occur. Anymore. Another thing that governments are encouraging mines to do is try to conserve biodiversity by planting trees in a different region if a mine has been constructed in a particular region. Now, all of these things we discussed were steps that mining companies need to take or steps that governments need to take, right? What can you and I do? Most of us don't work in the mining industry, right? We can do three small things that can go a long way in reducing the impact of mining. Reduce reuse and recycle. When we reuse our metals, recycle our metals, reduce the usage of metals, less metal is required by the human race, right? And when less metal is required, we need less mines. So everything's actually in our hands. If we use metals wisely, less mining happens, and that reduces the environmental impact of mines. That's it for this video.